But to b- back to the uh, AI arguments, which I think is the ultimate argument, really, that technology and this, this powerful AI technology is replacing jobs that we don't want in the first place. Take the example of truck drivers. I heard the other day, you know, this interview with a truck driver who was talking about self-driving trucks, da 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 And he said, yeah, that's definitely happening, but I don't want my kids anyway to be a truck driver. I did it. And this was good for me. And then this was, you know, the time that I lived in. But I don't want my kids to be a truck driver. Same thing with the fulfillment centers. You could argue also at some point, Amazon's fulfillment centers, they will be replaced with machines, most likely. And you don't want anyways to have a job in a fulfillment center, you know, sitting but and I doing the same thing. I think it's always a balance. There's some people who just like those jobs. Right. Like not, not like, just like, right. It's nice. I don't yeah. have to. Right. I think we also have to recognize that in a highly performance driven world mm. that there are people who just want to show up. Right. Like the conformity and the security of just doing the same thing day in, day out and mm. not being challenged too much. I think especially as, uh, as entrepreneurs, we mm. build new stuff and mm. we constantly challenge ourselves. We like, how can you live without challenging yourself? Like, what's the point of life? <laughs> uh, what's the next I problem? I just come to learn that people also just want those things. And I think... Mm. Um, yeah, not everybody's like that, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so I just think it's important that we, that we organize society in a way where, where there's space for, for, mm. for everybody. Mm. Where do you see us go from here? Like, is AI just... Uh, I, th- I like to think of it as just like we study ants and chimpanzees and are fascinated by, for example, how ants build their societies and coordinate and all that stuff. I look at AI as in, that's how AI is gonna look at us pretty soon. Like learn from, study humans. I don't know if you have to remember that right now they are all specialized. Right. So they might seem super smart, but it's just because they're training in tiny, 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 tiny thing. Sure. Uh, Clearly it's never gonna harm anyone. It's too stupid to do that. It's really good at just figuring out this little thing about people and products. Right. But uh, it's not going to kill you anytime soon. It's and it's uh, <laughs> going to fail miserably. Those are things. There's a long way mm. to general intelligence. Mm. But I think when it's there, it's going to be so fast that you cannot even make the comparison of human to names. I'm going to put you on the spot. How long is long? Oh, I have no idea. I have to do uh, this. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sometimes we get surprised. Like I think the HTTP3 algorithm and some of the other AI algorithms, we have been surprised at how fast we're moving. Mm. And other times we are underestimating the complexity of the problem, for mm. example, self-driving cars mm. uh, and image recognition. Uh, so right. So saying AI as a bucket I, is not I, accurate. I would say like this that I actually had legitimate concern about putting kids into this world when I believed mm. that the world would end in doom and gloom. <laughs> but then I also decided that no matter what, we're going to get to good years, that's a good chance, but but it will probably not be in that lifetime either. Right. But it's so hard to say because it, it might be that our electrical signaling is mm. much... More complex. Much, no, much more, much simpler than we think mm. it is. Yeah. Uh, that uh, with enough computing power, we can just do a simulation and then you have it and then... Mm, right. So 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 it's 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 really really hard because sometimes we're surprised by how simple things were to solve, and other times we are surprised by how hard they are to solve. Right. Uh, so generalizing yeah. AI as you know, when will it take over, is too simplified. Like it's such different problems that AI, different AI algorithms right are solving. Right now, where we are is that we can do really really small specific tasks. But we're still just building machines like the simple machines for cars and stuff like that. Right. So it might seem uh, intelligent, but it's no more intelligent than a simple machine for a car who can figure out how to position the right thing uh, to get it in uh, mm. uh, and get it working. Uh, mm. So we have to remember all these systems, no matter how smart they are, they mm. are tiny, 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 one little specialized thing. And then you have another system for another little specialized thing, mm. building a system that can bring all that together and understand mm. it is. Uh, uh, completely different thing, mm. uh, especially when we don't even know how what sort of question is. Right. So, so yeah, and that's uh, the arm way we. Um, right. Do you think your kids will ever get a driver's license? Speaking of self-driving no, cars. I don't have one. Yeah. Okay. But if but if if they had a good reason to. No 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 no. Uh, okay. You think self-driving cars is going to be around like mainstream? Yeah yeah why not? 
it's mm. easier and it's better. The, the, actually, the best argument for the for the self driving cars I ever read was actually a, a came from a article analog investor and an analysis of the the pipeline you for uh, the U.S. charge to put an Indian reserve some years ago, mm. where the conclusion that came to was that investors should not invest in this pipeline because it would it would be closed two years before it became profitable. Mm. And the argument for that was actually self-driving cars and electric mobility and stuff like that. So, right. so um, and the analysis it did was uh, basically that when you have an electric car versus, and uh, I think whether it's in, in a gasoline. traditional gasoline driving yeah. car, there's 2,000 different components and an electric car, car that are 20 mm. and moving parts uh, and yeah. uh, and the 10 things that break most in a, in a gasoline driven car are not even in an electric vehicle. Um, yeah. So so what you see right now uh, is that especially taxi companies, uh, you have Vigo in Denmark, Mm. Uh, who have, have an all electric feed. The whole benefit here when you put an electric car is that it costs the same as a gas car. So for a personal driver, it's um, it doesn't really make a difference. But for um, uh, but when you are uh, like trying to use a car twenty four seven, right? Then you really get the economical benefits of this electrical car. Mm. So if you add that with the self driving service. Mm. I believe that we will soon get into a world where um, self self driving cars are already safe. I think that's really important to remember that mm. it already safe. Like accidents per mile, mm. like yeah. they beat humans. And why do they beat humans? It's because uh, some few humans are directly stupid and just get behind the <laughs> car drunk or texting mm. or distracted. But we also might had a hard day at work or we mm. might drive the same commute back and forth and just zone out mm. like it's when all these accidents happen mm. uh, so we humans are actually pretty shitty at driving cars not mm. when we're sitting down and focused and mm. really trying but, but most people all aren't these other areas yeah. where the AI is beating us yeah. Um, uh, so yeah I believe that uh, I think the biggest thing that we at right now is just again as we see the friction in clerk with where they to lit even though the computer, I know the facts say, I know facts are a controversial topic according to the, you know, in this world, but the facts say the computer is better, mm. I just don't trust it. Right. Like, like and, and that's, you can, you can make a lot of jokes about what's going on in the US with Trump, but it's the same thing that happens in humans with AI. Mm. The facts say they're better, mm. I don't trust the facts. Right. I feel something different. We see the same when you push new technology in Claire. Mm. We see the same when you push new technology with self-driving cars. Um, that's just it. for us humans. It needs to be uh, like I think that there needs to be economical incentive, like cheaper. Like it, it needs to be legal, right? And then you need uh, a cheaper insurance. And I think the the the, the point about this pipeline analysis was that um, was that um, what you would get to was that it would be so much cheaper driving taxi than having a car. Mm. because if there's no person in the car you only have the upkeep the cost goes down and the cost goes down really like it would be a luxury to own your own car yeah yeah because everybody just use using a taxi app all the time because it would be yeah. cheap like and, and now we live in the middle of Copenhagen mm. um, and and uh, every time Sarah says we have a big taxi but you just have to remind her what like it's still cheaper than car and insurance mm. and mm. So if you just add those up we still you know we cannot match that no no yeah. and that's what people underestimate when they move to the suburbs or whatever then they also need a car then they need da, 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 yeah. and then the cost just explodes yeah. even further than living in the middle of Copenhagen which is also quite <laughs> expensive in the first place yeah but I did it because it's like how many hours do I get more in the day yeah. with the commute yeah. and since none of us has driver's license anyway mm. and we can just use taxis like yeah. Yeah. it's actually here we use namely to get stuff delivered or other services also we use right. taxis to go around when we don't have a car uh, and uh, we live in the city of Copenhagen mm. all arguments are because it's cheaper yeah, yeah. it's just it, it, it makes no economical sense for us to drive down to and nature in the suburbs it will be literally expensive more yeah. expensive 